Hi there, this is Dana Arcuri, author, speaker, and wellness coach. And just the other day, I was driving down the road, and there's been just a lot of stress in my life. I'm going to be transparent and real. This year has not gone as planned, not at all, not even close. And, um, you know, I've been questioning, okay, God, what are you up to? What are you doing? And this whole year, I just sense him saying over and over, just be still, you know, let me fight your battles and just be still and trust. And so I'm driving home from dropping off my daughter at work and I turn on my favorite worship music and it happens to be Hillsong. I just love Hillsong. And so they have a particular CD that's new and I received it as a gift. And so I'm making great use of it. And so there I am. It's a gorgeous day outside. The windows are down. I turn up my music and I'm literally just blasting my music, driving in my car, thinking, I don't even care what people think. I don't care if I'm raising my hands and praising God and singing my heart out. And if people are watching me or thinking, what was this lady, Looney, Looney Tune? I don't even care because I started thinking about this while I was driving home and I'm singing and I'm really getting wrapped up in the moment of this whole praise and worship. And I felt this peace come over me. And it made me think about one of the um, devotions that I wrote in my 50-day devotional, Harvest of Hope Living Victoriously Through Adversity. And it's on day 39. And so I thought, I want to share this one with you. Just a real brief um, daily devotional because maybe you're going through a bad time too. Maybe trials are knocking you off your feet and you're wondering where God is in the midst of your storm. And if that's the case, then hopefully my word can encourage you today. And so this is what I say in day 39 of praise and worship. The act of worship and praise is uplifting, calming, and spiritually moving. The beauty of worship and praise is that you remove the focus off of your problems. Instead of worrying about negative situations, your utmost attention is on Jesus. Worship and praise is special time alone with your heavenly maker. It's quiet time when the Holy Spirit wraps you up in his tender arms to embrace you. Troubles and frustrations melt in his presence. In the stillness, he stirs within your soul. Softly, he breathes fresh air to renew your faith. When you're praising God, you can't hear the lies of the enemy. When you're praising God, you can't allow the enemy to destroy you because your focus is on God, not on the enemy and not on the lies and not on him taunting you. By spending time in praise and worship, the enemy must bow before God. It's a powerful weapon to use against the devil in which you can live victoriously in Christ. And so today, if you yourself are feeling under the attack of the enemy, if darkness has overcome you and is shadowing you and is stealing your joy and you're questioning, you know, Lord, where are you? Turn on your music, my friend. Turn on whatever station, whether it's K-Love or some praise and worship music. If you have a special CD you love or you just even go to church and just silently close your eyes and just soak in God's goodness in this praise and worship music. Allow this time to just penetrate deep within your heart and soul. Take time away from Facebook, away from the internet, away from all the things that are chaotic. Turn off the nose, especially turn off the nose because it is just filled with doom and gloom. And instead, tune in to Jesus and just soak into his presence today. Just give whatever you are dealing with, give it to God. Listen for that still soft voice and just enjoy the music and take heart that you will overcome this. That God is seeing you through. He has already paved a way. He's already before you and making a way for you. And so rest in peace this weekend and let God's light shine. Thank you and have a great day.